Hey guys, and welcome back to another Hack the Site tutorial. Today we're going to be completing basic mission 5 and 6. So let's head on over to hackthesite.com and get started. And if you haven't already watched my previous two videos, let's just go ahead and go back and watch those. Unless you've already completed the tutorial, or I mean, unless you've already completed the challenges on your own. Go ahead and get logged in. Basic missions and five. Similar to the previous challenge, but with an extra security measure in place, requires HTML knowledge, JavaScript, or FF. I'm assuming that's Firefox, and email address. Basic five. And I'm not going to go through the pretext of doing all the stuff that I've been doing before. I'm just going to go ahead and show you what the what to do here because it's exactly the same as level five, uh, four. And I, I don't really know why it's saying that there, it's more secure because it's literally exactly the uh, same. Inspect element. See, this form is exactly the same, everything is exactly the same, so I really don't know why they say that it's got the extra security in place. So, as before, ankadirofor at gmail.com, press enter, send password to Sam, go check on the Gmail account, or whatever your email provider is. Password is 56CCBE73. And I apologize to you for the really loud clicking noises with my mouse. It's because I'm using my. Uh, it's because I'm using my default uh, speakers and the built in microphone on my laptop. To do the recording, submit, and there you go. Oops, I still didn't get the right one. Alright, unless I've accidentally copied one of the quotation marks. Okay, should be correct. And there we go. Next challenge. Actually, let's go ahead and go back to what we've been doing. Alright, basic six. An encryption system has been set up which uses an unknown algorithm to change the text given requirements, persistence, some general cryptography knowledge. Basic six. Now this one is actually kind of difficult. If you didn't already know how to do it, it goes ahead and gives us the encrypted version of the password. And it says Network Sam has encrypted his password. The encryption system is publicly available and can be accessed with this form. And here's the form. So really, we don't need this for our purposes. But if you were doing it on your own, you could you know, play around with this and figure out what type of encryption it uses. But I already know. We're gonna go. I already have a little page opened up. Little ASCII page. Let's do it. Have an ASCII table with ASCII characters set up. Alright, so we know that from you know what we'll say from from our trial and errors, we found out that the first one is first letter. We take zero from it. Take one from the next, two from the next, three, four, five, six, and seven. Because there's only seven characters. So we can do it like this. 
this. Two six six colon six H seven and L. Alright, so zero from two is still two. One from six is five. Two from six is four. Three from the colon is let's find it on the table here. Colon minus three. One, two, three. So that's eight. Six. Uh, four from six. Six. Five. Four. Three. Two. Five from H. Let's find H. And it's lowercase H, not uppercase H. One, two, three, four, five. So that would be a C. Seven from six is one, and seven from L, and that's a lowercase L. Seven, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven. So that's E. So just come in here and close those extra, uh, those spaces. Copy it. Or cut it. Paste it in there. Submit. And it's taken a minute to uh my internet connection's running kinda slow. I apologize for that. I'm going to go ahead and pause the video because I think the internet actually cut out. And I'll be right back with you in just a moment. And we just go ahead and paste our password in here and submit. And congrats. You completed mission, you completed mission six again. Alright guys, if you like this tutorial, or the series of tutorials actually, please like, comment, subscribe, share it with your friends. Go check us out on Twitter. And if you have any comments, questions, concerns, Please put them down in the comment section below, and I will definitely get back to you. Thank you.